Hello and welcome to Tree Walker Talks, episode 82, A Good Stink. All right, let's start with the homestead update. Uh, kind of, We're going to throw the what's growing on section out. We're just going to do it all under the homestead update. How's that? Um, busy day so far today. Today is Sunday, May 26, 2024. It is 11.03 p.m. Um, did get some good stuff done today before the severe thunderstorms went through. I'll get done more tomorrow because tomorrow is Memorial Day and I get a two-day weekend for the holidays. Okay, so it's been hot. Hot for us, not hot for some places, but hot. And it's been almost just perfectly wet. You know, we've gotten some rain and that, but not too bad to where it's like all mud out there. So we're doing good. Um, we got... Grass to the chickens for mowing, which is good because now it's under control. We can bag some of it up. Give that. I give it to all the chickens, to the ducks. Um, they pick it through. What they don't want to eat goes back into their pens for nitrogen to mix with their poop and the wood chips to make compost. And I wanted to say that if you've noticed, um, I have swapped the brand back from Tree, uh, Tree Walker Homestead to just Tree Walker because... I think I'm going to do a lot more than just, you know, the homestead stuff. There's still going to be homestead stuff. Not, not a whole lot's going to change, but I think it just suits it better to have it like that because of, you know, going out and doing fishing, um, hiking, that sort of stuff. So it's just, it's, you know, a persona. Let's put it that way. So it's not just the homestead. Um, the pallet teardown. So I've got a huge stack of pallets, and I've got more in the back of my truck. And I tore one down last weekend. To see if it was going to be worth it. And it is. The wood's going to be there. I don't think I talked about this last weekend. But I made a note to myself that before I get any more now, I will have to tear these down. Get them all tore down. Get the wood ready. Get it done. That's one of the plans for tomorrow. Hopefully I can get working on that. Um, I'm scratching my neck. Went outside with just a ball cap on again with the hair pulled up. And my polymorphic light eruption struck again. Um, I'm gonna I go to the doctor in about a week a little over a week and I'm gonna bring it up to her and see if there's anything else I can do with that too because um, my beard's itching and I'm kind of curious if I'm starting to get it on my face or if I just have to start wearing a sombrero we'll see okay so that's covering pretty much all of that stuff not a whole lot outside of there we only had one day so far um, but Let's go to move over to the garden there. So today I did get several things planted. I got the Hungarian peppers are planted. Cayenne peppers are planted. Roma tomatoes are planted. I dug up and moved some volunteer tomatoes from last year's tomatoes. So they should be strong and do really good. And move them to a new location. Because you shouldn't really grow tomatoes in the same location year after year. It really makes it accessible to blight and other issues like that. I did get three of the pear trees. I think the one died. Um, I'm trying to see if it'll come back or not, but um, I did get the three really good ones. They're probably maybe a foot tall, maybe. Um, got them put into new pots, and they're actually outside now, um, so they can go with the um, kale that was doing really good out there. It has bolted, which is fine. I'll collect seeds from it and be done with it for the year and use that... Um, growing area for another spot right okay tomorrow i have it already fixed for two of these i have a long bed all not tilled up just kind of worked up by hand for the corn um, we'll get that in that's a i forget what it is um, a bantam corn i've got one of the beds worked up for beans which will be the pole beans and it won't take up too much more time to get a couple more ready for all the beans. I do have um, calypso beans, um, pole beans, bush beans, several kinds of bush beans. Over there soaking overnight. The corn is also soaking overnight. Um, I was going to plant the New Zealand spinach tomorrow. Um, but I'm not sure if we're going to get to that or not. Because I have to get a bed ready. So I didn't put them in to soak. Um, onions. I'm going to throw some onions in, the ones that I got started, and see if they do any good. Um, melons, I'd like to get them started tomorrow too and get them covered so that the animals leave them alone. We'll see where we get on that also. That might be a during the week type of thing too. 
think that rounds all of that up. So that brings us up to the main topic, a good stink. And this kind of hit me when I came in from outside. Cause like I said, it's been hot. Hot for me. Like I said, may not be hot for some people. It's hot for me. It's been in the 80s. And I work in cold, like a cold storage area. Um, so it, it's not ice cold, but it's like 40s. Sometimes 50s, but usually 40s. So I don't do good well at the heat anymore. Um, didn't go too bad. You know, I, I did get stuff done. It just wears on me pretty thin. But after running uptown and getting animal feed, coming back, putting the animal feed in, mowing the lawn, running out of gas on the rider, the furthest point I could be from uh, to have to walk on the property, filling it up, and then here's a little tidbit, I'm cheap. The battery for the riding lawnmower doesn't really hold a charge that well. Usually, like, I mowed quite a bit, like half the yard. It would usually hold enough charge to kick it back over. But it didn't this time. So after gassing it up, bringing the gas all the way back up to the garage, going back out, it not starting, I had to come all the way back up, grab the jump start, go back out and jump start it. So that, you know, nice little walk there. But I did get a couple pictures of a China Rose. Um, that's one I moved. I thought it was a wild rose, but it's actually a China Rose. And of the elderberry bush. So, and I posted those kind of up. I'll probably post them in Discord too if you want to go over there and take a look. Um, so then we finished mowing. And then went to the backyard and did some. And then some of the area in the backyard is just so much easier to get the push mower out. So, and I can bag it with the push mower too. So I went ahead and did that. And moved the chicks, the silky chicks out. So this is all leading up to the main topic. This is kind of just me going over what I did out there. Especially for, as one of our other topics was, it doesn't feel like you get a lot done, but when you start listening off, it does seem like quite a bit. Here's another little tidbit. Ever since um, COVID, when I do these tree walker talks and all that, I yawn a lot because I'm not getting enough oxygen, I guess. I hope it's not that I'm boring myself and that I'm boring you. But so as you can hear, sometimes I really have to breathe hard, breathe air in. I just don't have lung capacity. I'm going to talk to the doctor about that too. But So I pause this about 100 times, so... I don't know how I'll ever do a live stream, but we'll try it sometime. So after the mowing and that, I uh, went through and pulled a bunch of weeds, dug up those tomatoes, the volunteer ones, to move them over, and planted everything out that I wanted to plant out. Well, not everything, but... And then the beds, I knew we were supposed to get thunderstorms coming our way, and they were going to be severe. So I went ahead and got the beds I had done ready to go. And the old long far, or long wood beds that I have, which I'll probably try to work on getting out this year and getting some metal ones in but uh their dirt the soil in there it's it's soil it's not dirt dirt means it's dead soil means it's alive the soil in there does get a little compacted it's a little hard so i'm trying to work things into it to make it more loomy loamy and what i use right now is the wood chips and rabbit poop from the girls inside ffa and 4-h rabbits so even the, where the tomatoes were last year, it was actually kind of loose, but I still worked a bunch of that in to try to work it in good and fill it up some more. And that's where the corn's going to go tomorrow. So that took, I don't know, five or six um, wheelbarrow loads of the wood chips and that to it. And then I got the vining one, which you've seen before. Um, added some to it too so that we could get it going. Added some to a couple of the other ones. So that was pretty tiring out by that time i was stopping and taking breaks and stuff so and then i got the everything planted that i said i planted today got that put in ready to go and then i knew if i didn't water the stuff i planted that it, the thunderstorms would roll over us so i went ahead and watered it and then we got a downpour so everything should be good to go hopefully it didn't ruin my nice rose i made for the corn tomorrow but this brings me to the topic so i came inside sweaty just worn out, exhausted, and I got around to take my shower. And I smelled. There was a stink to me. But I don't know. To me, you know, the smell of sweat and hard work, it, it makes it, you're like, yeah, I did actually do quite a bit today. That's why I called it a good kind of, st or a good stink. Because it was, you know, it wasn't, you haven't showered, you haven't done that. It was just a, you worked your butt off, you got a lot accomplished, you did some things. So, 
I guess that's why I call it good stink. You know, we all need to get out there and get a good stink going on. I know, you're probably laughing. But it's true. I don't just mean from the beans we're growing and we eat them and then it makes a stink. I just mean we need to get out there and do a lot more physical labor. A lot more working towards our goals. A lot less sitting on our butt. And am I talking to any of you in my group? No. I'm talking to myself too. Um, I have transitioned last fall to a desk job. Um, I have noticed that I don't do as much as I used to, even outside of work. So I'm trying to work towards doing stuff more. You know, there's excuses. I'm second shift. So, well, if I work before work, then I get sweaty, and then I have to take a shower, and then I go to work, and my hair's wet. Solution to that, I could cut my hair off. You know, when I first started this podcast, I had my head buzzed. Now it's, I don't know, a foot long. I don't know, it's probably longer than that. This is probably the longest my hair's been in my life. Um, so I could do that, and yeah, still shower, but it'd be dry. Um, I could work, uh, come and work after work. You know, I still have a little bit of energy, and I stay up usually a couple hours. And it's dark out, so I could set lights up and work, because then I won't have to worry about the sun trying to kill me, Right? So we all just need to find ways to do stuff like that. Get out there, get a little, get our hands dirty. Because I'll tell you something, after I do that, I may be, you know, my arms, they're not noodle arms by any means, but I could feel that I used them with the shovel and that in a way that I haven't used in a while. And it feels good. I need to do that more. I need to get out there and hike. You know, I other than mushroom hunting, I went on one walk this year. I didn't really take you guys along on that. I didn't have the stuff to do it. Um, kind of did, but I forgot the um, DJI magnetic grip back here at the house. So, otherwise, I probably would have took, took you. But that's okay. Because we all need some alone time, some time to just think about things, right? But, like I said, when you get out there, we need to work. We need to work towards what I want. I have all these ideas. I have all these sketches. I tell you, I get these ideas and I have to sit down, I sketch them out. It's time to make those sketches come into life. Hopefully you can do that too. Whatever it is you've been wanting to do, whatever it has been you've been writing down, whatever it is you've been brainstorming about and wanting to do, you need to do it. I mean, I have been working on some things. I do actually have been working on season two book of the lore, uh, Legends, Lore, and Lies, sorry. And I'm working on the first book that's going to be a series about paranormal investigators. Um, I've got it written, but I need to go back. I'm a, uh, how should I put this, critical on myself, so I need to go back and reread it, fix things, change things, add things, because there's some things that it went away, and I think I want it to go a different way. But, you know, as you're writing it, you get it in your head, and you write it, and it sounds great. Now I have to go back and make sure it does sound great. So... You know, I am doing stuff mentally too, but I need to get out there and do physical stuff also. So hopefully, me talking about my not being able to do it, maybe it'll help you be able to do it. Maybe it'll give you a little bit of inspiration, give you the kick in the, the butt you need to get around and get things done. All right. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you on the next one. And remember, stay alive out there and keep on surviving. <laughs>